Hi, this is Nate from Travel Lemming, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite things to do in my favorite country on the planet, Georgia. And that's right, I've been to almost 70 countries as I've been traveling the world for the last three years, and Georgia still ranks as my favorite of the whole bunch. So if you're watching this video and you're planning a trip to Georgia, I have to be honest, I'm a little bit jealous with you because it's just such an awesome place. And there's so many things to do. Now below this video, you'll find my blog post with my full list of favorite things to do in Georgia. And you can also sign up for my email list and I'll send you lots of awesome tips and tricks to help you plan your vacation in Georgia. But in this video, we're gonna go ahead and go over my absolute top 10 favorite things to do in Georgia. All right, so first up, my favorite thing to do in Georgia, and definitely number one on the list, is to visit the medieval land of Svaneti. Svaneti is a region of Georgia that is locked high in the Caucasus Mountains. It's fairly difficult to get there, but when you do, you'll be rewarded with these just like stunning medieval villages set in, the, set in these mountain valleys that are just totally beautiful. And you'll have so much incredible hiking, and these ancient watchtowers that are like a thousand years old just strung out in the, in the center of these gorgeous valleys. Or you can visit during the winter and even hit the slopes on some excellent ski resorts there. Spinetti is, is a little hard to get to as I mentioned, but definitely deserves a place on your list of things to do. George, number two on this list definitely has to be to soak up Tbilisi's old town. You'll soon understand why National Geographic recently called Tbilisi the world's most bohemian city. So just wander around, check out a few of the cafes, and you can even take a cable car to the top of the hill, which provides you with a really unique perspective to look at old Tbilisi. Number three on this list is to eat some kachapuri. Kachapuri is a Georgian dish made with bread and cheese, and there's a few different ways to eat it. Um, but it's kind of like Georgian pizza. It's totally delicious. I'm sure it's horrifically bad for you, but it is just an absolutely must do thing while you're in Georgia. Next on the list is to go wine tasting. I bet you didn't know this, but wine was actually invented in Georgia. And Georgia's wine scene is quickly becoming renowned around the world for having some of the best vintages on the planet. You can easily take a day trip from Tbilisi and go check out the Kakheti region, which has lots of wineries and go wine tasting there. Next on this list is to attend a Georgian Supra, which is like a traditional banquet feast that Georgians do. Now it can be difficult to attend a Supra as a tourist. Your best bet is to try to befriend some locals, but if you can't do that, you should at least find some time to have a dinner with some locals and you find some information on how to do that in the blog post below this video. The next thing on this list is to go trekking or hiking. Georgia has some of the most beautiful mountains in Europe and getting out in those mountains and going trekking or hiking is really one of the main draws for tourism for Georgia. There's a very popular hike in Svaneti, which was number one on this list, that goes from Mestia all the way up to Ushgoli, which is the highest continuously occupied settlement in all of Europe. That is very highly recommended, but even if you can't do that there, just go for a day hike in the Kezbeki region, just north of Tbilisi. You definitely want to get out there and experience those beautiful mountains for yourself up close and personal. All right, the next item on this list is to check out Tbilisi's techno scene. And look, even if you're not a techno person, you probably should still do this because Tbilisi has a techno scene that is quickly becoming one of the most popular on the planet. Several of its clubs have been compared to Berlin style of nightclubs. And in particular, there's a club called Basi Ani, which holds about 1,200 people in this giant club underneath uh, the, an old Soviet stadium here. And they actually have the dance floor in the middle of a hollowed out swimming pool. It's a pretty incredible countercultural experience. Even if you're not into techno, it's such a, a sort of renowned and well-known place that it's definitely worth putting on your list. It can be a little hard to get in. They put uh, they put stickers on your phone, so you actually it's it's prohibited to take photos inside. So don't have any videos of it. But it's really quite a special time. I'm not a techno person, and I still really enjoyed it. So I highly recommend checking out Tbilisi's techno scene. If Bassiani is a little bit too much for you, you can also check out a club called Bauhaus, which is in the park and maybe a little bit uh, a way of accessing the techno scene for people who are not quite as into techno. All right, next on this list is to get scrubbed down in a sulfur bath. And you'll find sulfur baths all around Tbilisi. There's a few popular ones right in old Tbilisi, but there's, there's quite a few other ones. And for something like $30 or so, you can actually get a private room and then go in and get somebody to come in and like scrub you down. 
Uh, it's quite the experience, definitely should be on the list of things to do in Georgia. All right, next on this list, if you're visiting in winter, is to go skiing. There's lots of ski slopes all around Georgia and it's a very affordable ski destination. And my 10th and final thing on my list of things to do in Georgia is to drink some cha-cha. Cha-cha is kind of like uh, this Georgian spirit. Um, it's really strong. Um, one shot's probably gonna get you enough to be a little bit tipsy. And you'll find that the Georgians just sort of drink it all the time, sometimes even for breakfast. Um, but definitely take one of those cha-cha shots. All right, so that's it for this list of things to do in Tbilisi. I've got lots more information over on my website, so be sure to check out the links below this video. Be sure to sign up for my email list and I'll send you lots of information to help you plan your trip to Georgia. And for more videos on travel tips around the world, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and enjoy your time in Georgia.